So right now I'm going to run you through a uh, earn value problem, show you how to do it. Uh, here's our setup. We're going to have all of our activities right here in this column, our budgeted cost of each activity in this column. And right here is the schedule. Uh, it shows what activities are supposed to take place and when they're supposed to take place. Um, so the first thing we'll do is we'll go through the budgeted cost of work scheduled here, which uh, is just all of the activities up until four and a half months. You can see right here after four and a half months is when we're looking at the project. So that's going to be uh, all of these projects and then half of drywall and ceiling because all these projects take place in the first four months and then halfway through the fifth month we should be halfway done with drywall and ceiling. So budgeted cost of work scheduled, that's going to be equal to the $15,000 for site work plus the $3,000 for fencing plus $21,000 for paving plus $52,000 for excavation plus 41,000 for foundation plus the 65,000 for framing plus the 7,500 for rough electric plus the 12,000 for uh, rough plumbing plus half of the budgeted cost for drywall and ceiling you can see right here that at four and a half months we should be halfway done with those so we'll only include half of those but or those budgets, which is 0 0.5 times 22,000 for drywall and 9,500 for ceiling. So that brings it up to $232,250. Uh, the budget cost of work performed is going to depend on these activities over here, which shows what we've actually completed uh, and what is almost completed. Uh, so site work is complete, so that's going to be 15000 for the site work, plus 3000 for the fencing, plus uh, the paving is done, so 21000 The excavation is done, so 52000 uh, plus the foundation, which is 41000 plus the framing, which is 65,000. And now we move on to the project or the activities that are almost completed. So rough electric and rough plumbing are both half complete. So we'll do 0 0.5 times uh, the rough electric cost, which is 7,500, plus the rough plumbing cost, which is 12,000. And the drywall and ceiling are three fourths complete. So we'll do 0.75 times the drywall cost, which is 22000 plus the ceiling cost, which is 9500 And that brings us to $230,375 for budgeted cost of work performed. The actual cost of work performed is just going to be this incurred cost to date down here. So we'll put... 247,000. Uh, the budgeted cost at completion is the original estimate of the total project cost, which is right up here, and that's 299,000. The estimated cost at completion is this formula right here, so that's going to be equal to the actual cost of work performed plus the budgeted cost at completion. minus the budgeted cost of work performed. So that's $315,625. So you can see that our original estimate was 299000 right here, and now our estimated cost of completion is 315000 so we're uh, $16,000 uh, over budget so far. So that's not a good thing. Uh, the schedule variance is going to be equal to the budgeted cost of work performed minus the budgeted cost of work scheduled. The cost variance is going to be equal to the budgeted cost of work performed minus the actual cost of work performed. 
the scheduled performance index is going to be equal to budgeted cost of work performed divided by the budgeted cost of work scheduled. And the cost performance index is going to be equal to the budgeted cost of work performed divided by the actual cost of work performed. The percent schedule variance is going to be equal to uh, 100 times the schedule variance divided by the budgeted cost of work scheduled. And that'll show us that we're under budget, or sorry, behind schedule or ahead of schedule. Um, percent cost variance is going to be equal to 100 times the cost variance divided by the budgeted cost of work performed. And finally, the percent complete is going to be equal to 100 times the budgeted cost of work performed divided by the budgeted cost at, at completion. So in this breakdown, you can see that we are about 77% done with our project. Uh, the percent cost variance right there, negative 7.22%. Um, that shows us that we are over budget. And the percent schedule variance, negative uh, 0.81%, that shows us that we are uh, behind schedule. So we're a little bit more than three quarters of the way done with the project, but we're behind schedule by a little bit and uh, over budget by actually quite a bit. So this project is not in a good position right now. Um, and that's how you do an earned value problem.